Hello and welcome once again to IPL Fantasy. We are going to talk about match number 28, which will be played in Sharjah. Royal Challengers Bangalore versus Kolkata Knight Riders. You can expect another high scoring encounter over there. But again, it depends on the sort of pitch last time around. The pitch seemed a bit too paced, a bit of uh, spin more, a bit of too paced in the bowling attack. So the teams did not cross the 200 mark, but expect that to change this time around because we have a lot and a lot of big hitters on display in this particular match. Royal Challengers Bangalore beat Chennai Super Kings by 37 runs while Kolkata Knight Riders beat Kings Eleven Punjab by just two runs but a win is a win it doesn't matter how much you win by as long as you get those two points on the board let us take a look at what Royal Challengers Bangalore might do in this match in their playing 11 last time around they had one change they brought in Chris Morris ahead of Moeen Ali I don't think they need to make any other changes, perhaps play around with their all-round option or that extra bowler option, Adam Zampa back on the bench. So that overall balance in the team is looking good. They are in good form without Kohli, a scintillating half-century last time around textbook half century for him and he is looking in good shape as well a few more runs perhaps from uh, the others around him they've the particle scoring a few as well but a few more runs from the batsmen surrounding those two and the rcb will be in good shape Talking about Kolkata Knight Riders, well, in the last couple of games, you know, it's been a bit dicey for them. It hasn't looked like they want to win, but somehow have managed to get those wins under their belt. Dinesh Karthik playing a very nice hand in that last game. Kuldeep Yadav has missed the last two games. This time around, he could be back in the side because somebody like Sunil Narayan, he's been given a warning for a suspect action. He can continue bowling, but one more warning and he will be banned. So it's a bit of a topsy-turvy situation for Kolkata Knight Riders at the moment. It'll depend on whether they continue to play Sunil Narayan or they do some course correction over there. So it remains to be an interesting proposition. Of course, sir. Uh, Varun Chakravarti, Kuldeep, uh, Kuldeep Yadav, do they want to bring him in at the Sharjah cricket ground, smaller ground, big boundaries, or they want to have an extra pace option in their bowling attack? Again, a very, very intriguing selection ahead of both sides. And, you know, probably not too many changes, just that one element for each side. But a lot of elements for you when picking your fantasy 11. You have Devdutt Padikal or Rahul Tripathi to keep that balance at the top of the order. Then Shubman Gill, Virat Kohli, A.B. De Villiers in the wicket-keeping avatar. Then Ewan Morgan. You have to decide Nitish Rana or Aaron Finch. If you play Finch, then you can go in with Rahul Tripathi at the top of the order. If you decide on Nitish Rana, then you can go with Devdutt Padikal. I think the particle Rana combination is much better suited to your fantasy 11 needs. Then, of course, you have Andre Russell as your star all rounder. Last time around, he walked off a little injured. We are hoping he's recovered. He's been a couple of, he's had a couple of days of rest. Then Chris Morris and Sunil Narayan, those are your two options. Again, like I said, Sunil Narayan, a big question mark over him, whether he'll bowl, whether he'll play. So Chris Morris maybe knows his ahead, or if Moin Ali is playing, then you can opt for Moin Ali as well. Yusbendu Chahal. Navdeep Saini and Shivam Mavi would be my top three bowling options. With Mavi, you can have Kamlesh Naga, Koti or Prasid Krishna. All three of them are giving really good account. India's space future is looking well and truly bright. You can also have the option of somebody like a Varun Chakravarti if you can go with an extra bowler and maybe one less all-rounder or one less batsman. But again, it's a power-packed batting lineup for both sides. And in Sharjah, it's always sixes, sixes and sixes. So I would put my money on that extra batsman.